So we've got trigger point work we can do into that quadratus plantae. And what I'm also going to introduce you to is some vacuum cupping. Now this works an absolute treat in terms of working this plantar fascia because a lot of the time this particular condition obviously because it's called plantar fasciitis we're obviously relating that to the fascia of the foot this works just a treat now it won't always work on every client that you get because sometimes for whatever reasons clients feet may be just really really dry if they've got really really dry it makes it difficult for the cup to actually suction on. So for those of you that aren't familiar with this, obviously we're looking at obviously using a vacuum cup, okay? So this is the gun, and obviously that is the actual cup itself. So it obviously adheres onto the skin itself, okay? So obviously it doesn't tear the skin or anything like that. It is just a lifting and offloading, okay? So what you can do with your vacuum cupping Okay, we're going to use obviously the smaller cup here, so they come in different sizes depending on the area, but this actually works a treat for plantar fascia. So one squeeze and then you're just looking at working up and down the plantar fascia itself, okay, up to the calcaneal attachment and then down and up. You can work across as well. Now what you'll find is that you'll feel almost like bubbles underneath, okay. Now obviously they're not bubbles okay it's just part of the tissue being lifted and offloaded okay now if you can get in here and keep working this tissue with this cup then you'll find you'll start to loosen off a lot of that fascial restrictive component to plantar fasciitis okay so it's just simply up and down not rocket science but it works an absolute treat okay and obviously disengage you just pop it off like that so I, I would always invest in some vacuum cups to make sure that you are being able to offload that area there as I said it works an actual treat you can add a little bit of dorsiflexion and plantar flexion into it as well now to come in technique wise for plantar fasciitis we're going to come in once again with the broad forearm and then we can sink down okay so i'm going to hold basically just where the achilles attaches onto the calcaneal and then we can work along the tissue itself picking up pretty well much the entire plantar fascia and working right up to that forefoot okay and across we can also hook in and work that quadratus plantae trigger point as well just sitting on there but i do like to work the entire plantar fascia after i've cupped it doing it this and this obviously will make a big difference working across like so okay quite simple now once again it's all about creating this environment to make sure that the sensitivity on these attachments obviously are offloaded. Now, when we're working by the plantar fasciitis, Achilles tendon pain, or even the medial tibial stress syndrome, it is important that we're also working the lateral compartment of the leg and we're also hitting that tibialis anterior muscles as well. That should always be the recipe, okay? And then we just basically isolate each one of these areas for treatment.